Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy guys and this is a very brief video about the upcoming TIFR examination GS 2022. Right, so what are we going to talk about is all the important questions that you are regularly getting as FAQ, FAQs, frequently asked questions like you are concerned about the application form and what is going to be the fellowship and how you have to apply and so on, right? So visit the website of TIFR you are going to see this as your home page all right so even if you type on Google that is GS2 2022 TIFR you are going to uh, land on this page over here and what is written over here is GS 2022 this is your short notification which is given I will put up the link of this website uh, in the description box below as well so information has been updated the apply online link will be activated on or before october 8 so basically it will start from october 8 last date for submission of application is november 7 2021 right so this is your last date of application for this examination right so uh, what is this examination right the tifr is a deemed to be university it is very prestigious for the research very very prestigious and what are the programs it is conducting out let's uh, visit all of them so first of all TIFR Mumbai is the main campus and it is having its uh, subsidiaries as you can see the other centers the six other centers as you can see is CAM Bangaluru HBCSE Mumbai ICTS Bangaluru NCRA Pune NCBS Bangaluru and TIFR Hyderabad Right, so all of these seven centers, including the main campus, there you are going to get all of the complete research in many topics of sciences, right? Complete scientific research is going on. And for, uh, for you to get admission into PhD or other programs, the exam is going to be held, right? So TIFR GS 2022, it is going to give you admission to either MSc or PhD or integrated PhD which is MSc and PhD right so you are you can get your admission for PhD and integrated PhD if you are interested so first of all let's talk about the subjects it is conducting the examination for chemistry biology physics mathematics and computer and system sciences okay so what are the uh, you know what are the important dates that is mentioned on the website that is first of all the examination is going to be on December 12th 2021 right so this is announced already that on Sunday December 12th the exam is going to take place online application starts from October 8th okay last date for application is November 7 downloading of hall tickets November 2022 uh, all right and the result of this examination will be uh, uh, available by the end of January 2022 right and you will be shortlisted for interviews so first of all what happens is the process is like this you are uh, going to be giving this uh, written test and then shortlisted for interview you might also face another written test based on the merit list right so yes that you will be informed uh, about okay now these are the important dates these are the important subjects for which you are uh, able to give the test for for which you can select the PhD and integrated PhD MSc option right now what are going to be the test timings as available on the website December 12 2021 for physics chemistry computer and system sciences and biology for wildlife and conservation you are going to have 9 30 a.m. to 12 30 p.m. this is going to be a three hour test okay and the afternoon session is going to be for biology and mathematics as you can see 2 30 to 4 30 p.m. all right so now guys if you are interested in chemistry if you uh, basically see there are two centers where you're getting the PhD and integrated MSc PhD programs okay so first of all TIFR Mumbai itself the main center and then TIFR Hyderabad right for interdisciplinary sciences so Department of Chemical Sciences and interdisciplinary sciences you can see the topics of research which are going on over here and you can 
understand that uh, which topic you will be interested in these two are the main centers which are uh, conducting research in chemistry okay for the phd and msc phd programs so the typical course duration is going to be 5 years for a phd program for a integrated msc phd it's going to be 6 years just 1 year more okay and for the msc program you just have to uh, go through the details uh, for chemistry biology and so onwards right so for phd and integrated phd the option is very very good 5 in 6 years typical course duration and what is the fellowship guys let's talk about fellowship first for the phd and integrated phd programs the academic year starts from august 1 every year okay and the academic year for msc program begins from july 1 every year so as you can see the fellowship for phd students uh, they will receive a monthly fellowship of rupees 31000 plus hostel accommodation or hra as applicable which is uh, totally going to be enhanced to as as a maximum of 35000 after registration into phd program okay so maximum it is going to be 35000 right because it is also mentioned that the uh, hostel accommodation fees and everything is going to be really nominal all right for the integrated phd uh, students who are first going to basically have the uh, have to do the msc in the first year and then uh, from onwards you have the phd right so students receive a monthly fellowship of 21000 plus the hostel accommodation or hra for the first year okay at the end of the first year upon satisfactory performance the fellowship is enhanced to 31000 per month okay or at, at, for a maximum of 35000 per month right so this is for your phd part similar to this one all right so guys the msc and phd program as well as the phd program itself both of these are funded by difr itself okay and what about only msc uh, uh, fellowship see on the website it is mentioned that msc biology students they are going to re receive a 16000 uh, of monthly fellowship and msc wildlife biology and conservation 12000 which is fixed okay so now what happens is uh, in the website there is it's not mentioned for msc of physics chemistry or any other subject receiving the fellowship so i guess it is only for the phd and M uh, integrated phd students not for the msc chemistry students okay all right so this was about the fellowship of the uh, phd and msc phd programination now what is the eligibility criteria let's also see what is the eligibility criteria for doing phd you must have any of these following degrees so usually bs uh, msc be btech m farm or equivalent degree is going to do for phd programinations right for integrated phd you can also have a bsc degree and then qualify tifr examination and b farm bs degree or equivalent degrees theek hai so candidates with the be btech degrees enrolled in the phd program can optionally get an msc degree by fulfilling additional requirements okay that is for the integrated phd student so your basic criteria is if you are going for integrated phd you must be bsc if you are going for uh, phd you must be msc all right so yes now is there any other requirement there is percentages and everything is given over here so guys this will be mentioned more clearly in the brochure right so you can just check it out once again the website and eligibility about the age now this is a big question so when you are trying to fill up the form see it is not mentioned the age is not mentioned on the website but you are uh, trying to fill up the application form okay you will only be able to fill up the form if you are uh, approximately 25 or 26 year of age not more than that okay because there will not be your date of birth or the year in which you are born into right so in the form filling you will uh, get to see that what is the last year that you can fill up the form with right so there is a silent eligibility criteria which is not mentioned on the website but when you fill up the form it is going to be there 
okay so exactly what it is you can just uh, check out by filling up the form like if you are 25 26 something like that you will be able to fill it right okay now also there is one more announcement from my side that is since your examination is going to be december 12 you are having plenty of time okay so till december 12 you will get a lot of practice questions on uh, tifr and you might also get some previous year question discussion of the gate and the csi net examination and these are also going to help you in your understanding and practice so tifr questions are a bit lengthy if you have seen the paper you will see that these questions are a bit lengthy and hard to crack because the language is a little bit twisted so we are going to be uh, having a practice series on tifr for your gs 2022 examination and this is going to be a free question discussion right in the form of short videos you are going to get many different topics okay uh, so yes guys the videos are going to join you soon on the Rasayan Academy and if you are liking this then please please uh, share these videos and please also share the information that your exam form is out and also if you want to join me on an Academy you can use the code Jagriti S for a 10% discount to your CSI net subscription for the CSI net subscription for the chemical sciences. Okay, so yes, I'll see you soon in another video. Till then, bye everyone.